Hello everyone, this is Jed Bedrock and welcome to the new Airsoft Repair Shop where I show you what how to fix your gun when it stops firing. In this video the problems we will be focusing on will be the gearbox, the stock, and the grip. If your gun stops firing and it doesn't make any noise, you'll want to check the battery and the fuse. Both can be accessed through the stock, and while each stock is different, they would generally be accessed like this. Now that you've gotten your butt pad off, it will reveal the wiring. While batteries are a failure point in this video, it is highly unlikely, and so for this video we will be focusing on the fuse part of the wiring. Now that you have revealed your wiring, in order to access the fuse more easily, you will want to remove the stock off of the gun. It is done like this. Now that your stock is off, you can reveal the fuse. Op twist and open the container to reveal it. If it looks charred and black and not shiny and clear like this one, then it is advised that you go to an airsoft shop to have them look at it. The odds they will have a spare are likely, or they will know where to get one. If you have checked both the battery and the fuse, and your gun still does nothing when you pull the trigger, then you will want to check the motor contacts, as seen here. In this next part of the video, we will be looking at the motor. If your gun stops firing, but you hear a high-pitched sound, that means your motor has come loose from your gearbox, and you need to adjust the motor height. Different guns have different ways of adjusting the motor height. This is from a SEMA M4, this one is from a DITAC, and this one is CRYTAC. In this video, we will be reviewing the SEMA. To adjust the motor height, take an allen key, or whatever screw or key is necessary, and turn it clockwise to tighten. Do not turn it too far, otherwise it will cause the gears to grind. Next, if your gun stops firing, but you hear a lower pitched winding sound, it's possible you have stripped your piston. It looks something like this. If you are not familiar with airsoft gearboxes, taking it to a local shop or a tech is highly recommended. And lastly, if all other solutions have failed and your gun will not fire, it is possible you have burnt out your trigger contacts, and if you do not know how to fix it, taking it to a local shop or tech is highly recommended. 